Hi, fellow classmates. This is Paul from Education 638. Uh, a good foundational scripture I have here to offer is uh, comes from Proverbs 15.22. It states, without consultation, plans are frustrated, but with many counselors, they succeed. I worked on two shared go governance committees in the past, um, although not an exact model of them. Uh, I believe Whitehead, Jensen, and Boshi 2013 described in their text many elements of what I had experienced on those committees. The authors discussed the importance of mission, values, statements, and goals, respect, integrity, uh, timeline, budget, community awareness, all of those things um, come into play with a, a good plan of, uh, a, a from coming from leadership. Um, it takes mutual respect between staff and administrators to uh, to accomplish the goals within the different components of shared governance. As it's titled, shared governance suggests both parties want counsel from each other to govern the institutions uh, or systems representative uh, by the team. What could possibly happen, though, is putting so much work into a plan uh, and, and time and, and money even and, and not seeing much results. But what I found in the text would be very helpful information and a good resource for school for, for uh, schools or district wide technology plan. It seems that involving staff too soon would actually confuse and delay the planning and the resources needed and would take too much time away from their specific uh, concentration, which is teaching. I believe the utilization of a few core technologies, technologically savvy teachers and any useful talents of willing stakeholders involved in planning would be a helpful part of shared leadership for the redesigning of priorities as the 21st century of education moves forward. I have that idea uh, from Whitehead et al. 2013, uh, especially for professional development planning. Professional development does not does need a good strategy before the plan unfolds. It is the key to the benefits on teaching and learning today. Before the plan gets to the seasoned teachers while colleges and universities are um, focusing on training their pre-service teachers um, in best practices on technology, educational technology, the professional development plan must be approached with all support measures considered. Considerations for this are, they happen to be uh, questions. Is the training plan strong? Is there uh, budgeted time and incentives for teachers to change their methods? Uh, IT issues such as hardware, software applications and bandwidth availability? Are diversity issues and assistive technology addressed? Are common core standards? Uh, cyber abuse, confidentiality and community awareness these ideas are from Whitehead et al. 2013. The list goes on, but inevitably, these things are going to come up and they're going to be addressed um, during the professional development plan uh, as it unfolds. With a strong plan for professional development in place, the unfolding of new technology plan will be successful at the student-teacher level. When all is said and done, it will be the teachers who determine the success and or failure of the technology plan. Um, that is quoted from Whitehead et al. 2013, page 81. At this time in educational history, it's imperative that there be an ongoing technology plan every education in every, every educational system. I would be honored personally to be able to be a part of one, to uh, sit and take notes, um, and just to observe, according to Whitehead et al. 2013, the benefits of the innovative use of technology, such as improvements in writing, cooperative learning, um, greater stakeholder communication, enhanced curriculum, uh, such as with apps. There's so many great apps out there. And learning environments, um, they're not too far beyond the reality if the school system has a strong vision and a technology plan with a determined timeline in place. Today's and future students cannot and should not be ignored. I believe the text written by Whitehead et al. is a great resource for making technology plans. Thank you very much for listening to me.